six, five, four, three, two, one. Hop on. I'll just go ahead and talk about some sports right now. We'll come to wait. South Miami Beach, opposite the police station. Used to climb trees, eat coconuts. It's an evening at the Improv with tonight's host, Wendy Edelson. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> please make some noise. My brother, um, the one his name's Charlie, the one I'm really close to, he makes a lot of jokes in bad taste, and it was a joke he made. He bought the TV for me this morning that got broken, and then I was talking to him about whether it made sense to pay to fix it or whether. I should get a new one, and it was always his joke that, like, he knew Danny treated me badly, and it was always his joke. He said, I, I, you know, I looked into hiring a hitman, and it was cheaper to get you this TV, so instead I got you this TV. Um, I mean, he would never. Hey, hey. you're not going to believe this. I made up a joke and sent it into Playboy. They printed it. <laughs> that is funny. It was also funny when I made it up. What? I made that joke up. Uh, oh, oh, um, no you didn't. I did. Uh, uh, oh, yes I did. I told it to Dan at work and he said it was the funniest joke he'd ever heard. Hey, tell Dan thanks. Yeah. Chandler, it's my joke. But uh, hey, if, if it makes you feel any better, they don't print the name. So it doesn't really matter who gets credit, right? Yeah, I guess. Hey, guys. Hey, Joey, Playboy printed my joke. What? No, 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 it's mine. It's my joke. You can call them. They'll tell you. It's my joke. It's my joke. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I've made my decision. Okay, oh, okay. So I'm not, I'm not. Okay, well, you tell. You are both idiots. <laughs> The joke is not funny. You shouldn't be arguing over who gets credit. You should be arguing over who gets blamed for inflicting this horrible joke upon the world. Now let it go. The joke sucks. <laughs> It's your joke. It is not. Was the murder of Dan Markell your dad's big gift? I, I mean, that's, of course not. That's a horrible thing to say. What about the, well. Murder. Gee, I suddenly feel so much better. He's my big brother, and he's been taking care of me since I was little, but he would never. And I, I said, I told that to the repair guy this morning. He said he asked me how much it cost, and I said I didn't know because it was a gift. Because my brother said it's cheaper than a hitman. It was my divorce present. Such a horrible thing to say. I'm so sorry. We gotta do semi-done. Take. 
Come on, folks, you guys gotta get together. Can't do this the last goddamn minute. Music, music. Consciousness of guilt is an action or statement that a person accused of a crime makes that an innocent person would not make. It can manifest in various ways, such as hiding evidence, pointing fingers at innocent people, or even leaking incriminating information in the effort to appear ignorant of a conspiracy. He knew Danny treated me badly and it was always this joke. He said, I, I, you know, I looked into hiring a hitman and it was cheaper to get you this TV, so instead I got you this TV. We're back. A couple more phone calls on this very important topic. Our guest... Wendy Adelson. I thought you were a lawyer. That is my understanding. San Luis Obispo, California. Hello. Hey. You know, I've been calling your wrong number all this time. Or she had a story to tell, but out of respect for the person she worked for, yeah, she didn't tell it. Where shots go to? Three, three. Three, three. Something new for your dirty little ears. It takes snippers. It takes snippers. Donna and Charlie unhinged. Conversations with criminals. Best criminals in incarcerated. Super chat equals super call misery. Snippers that are out of context that don't mean anything. The way it's framed, the way it's worded, the way it's presented. A kosher style podcast. Welcome back to Larry King Live with Charlie. An incarcerated individual. Will you relive with us those uh, terrible moments for you, for the world, for a lot of people uh, around? I, mean, and, listen, I know people have said, like, oh, you, you have to look at the law, look at what you're charged with, look at the evidence, and see if the state has proved it beyond a reasonable doubt. When the state's describing of, like, what beyond a reasonable doubt is, she, like, softened it up to be like, well, if you think he's guilty, then you vote. Then you vote this way. Like, okay, so if you think fifty-one forty-nine guilty, then you vote guilty. If you think more guilty than not guilty, that's not beyond a reasonable doubt. Beyond a reasonable doubt is like you know what happened. The circumstances of the killing. What happened? When when he's bought the landline, the TV, the this, the that. Like none of it had anything to do with it, but it was all like it was literally like on a fourth grade level made for TV, sensational, cut and paste. How could you not see how simple it is? And then it came up the day of the murder and the day of the bump. Why is everybody talking TV talk? Hey, how are ya? Carson Daly here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're watching Total Request Live. That's right. This is still a live television show right here. It's nice to be back. We are, of course, here in Times Square, MTV's home, and we'll be bringing you the top 10 most requested videos, not from us, from you. That's how the show works. You've been calling us. Hello, this is a prepaid collect call from Charlie, an incarcerated individual at the Leon County Jail. Ties it all in. One, two, three. And then she's showing up at the scene of the crime. They're like, man, that's like one in a million. There's probably more interest in this gentleman than in any other person in this country. He is the mastermind. He and... Uh... Wendy Edelson. What happened? Didn't you want to be a lawyer? Yes. But in you, there was always this editor-writer wannabe? That is my understanding. But are you now, this is it? This is going to be your life? Potentially, yeah. <clears throat> I'm crazy about you. I've never heard a voice like yours. You're driving me up the wall. Did you ever use the TV as code for the murder? No. Come on, guys. No. Did you ever hear your mom do that? No. I'm, I'm no feel well. They're lucky. <laughs> Camera three, where the hell are you? Where the hell is three? <laughs> Now to some breaking news. We have new details tonight in the arrest and the murder case of a professor at Florida State University. <laughs> I mean, as the ex-wife, I assumed I was a suspect from the beginning. The long list of plans that you went over with Mr. Ashbaum that you were going to have in Tallahassee post-murder date, none of those plans happened, right? No. Because you moved to South Florida, right? Because I felt unsafe to stay here, yes. 
Do you want the culpable parties held accountable for murdering the father of your children? Absolutely. I'm grateful they're already in jail. But not if it's your family. It's not my family. I mean, somebody hired them, right? Not necessarily. Somebody paid them. I learned something this morning. <laughs> yeah, me too. Markle was shot to death in the driveway of his home in Tallahassee in 2014. This video captures a 2016 meeting of Charlie Adelson and Catherine Magbanoa in a Miami restaurant. Prosecutors say it gave a Leon County grand jury a reason to indict Charlie Adelson eight years after the murder of Florida State University professor Dan Markle. I listened to the calls just to hear who was on them, so I don't know what content they're referencing. Adelson is facing several charges, including first-degree murder. <laughs> Stop doing that. Knock it off. You're going to make it worse for yourself. Knock it off. Things that might be true, but also maybe not.